Hi, thanks for watching Tech Talk. I'm Sergio with Arvig. Today we're going to be talking about a device um, most people with high speed internet have nowadays, and that's your router. We're going to be giving you some router tips. But let's dig into the router now. If you're taking a look at it, you probably have a, your router probably looks something like this or, or very similar. Um, they don't all have antennas on the back, sometimes they have antennas built in. But we find people are asking lots of questions about them like, what exactly is it doing? Um, if I'm having trouble with my internet, is it always the router's fault? Could it be something else? And what should I do to try to fix the problem myself? Or what are some handy tips for the router? So let's talk. First of all, we have what's called a, a D-Link router here. Pretty standard model. Um, it's kind of a, a, a residential or a home use model. Um, it's got multiple ports on the back. And then of course this wireless antenna. So what's it doing? Normally at home for your internet you have a couple of devices to connect. You have your modem, and you've probably heard that device before, of that device before. Um, in the dial-up days, that's pretty much all you had, for example. You had a modem in your computer, you connected the phone line to it, and then your computer was online. Then high speed came around, and then people started buying more computers. Well now you need more than a modem. A router is like a splitter for your internet connection. It takes that line, and then it takes the data that that line provides from your modem and it splits it up into these multiple ports in the back and the most important thing for many people nowadays is it sends out the signal wirelessly through an antenna. Wi-Fi is basically what that is. It does this in a very smart way actually. Um, let's say you have three devices connected to your internet and one is trying to watch a movie and one is just browsing websites on Google and the other one's connected but not doing anything. Well you might be thinking are they all getting the same amount of speed? Are they all using the same amount of data? No, the router is actually smart. It knows to send more information to that computer trying to get to the video, and a little bit less to the person just browsing websites, and the person that's not doing anything but is still connected, it knows not to send really any data to that device. That's why it's smarter than what other devices that can split internet connections. There's other devices called hubs and switches, which do similar things to routers but aren't quite as smart. So routers are important. Now, we got, you got your router, you got it hooked up, you're using the internet, great. What are some things you should be doing with it? Well, this device is pretty much connected 24-7. It's always on. One of the very first things we recommend to people if they're having trouble with their internet connection is giving it a quick reboot. And that's as simple as turning it off and turning it on, or unplugging the power cord, waiting 20 seconds or so, and plugging it back in. Why do you have to do that, you might be saying. I, this, this device should be designed to always work, right? It is, actually. It's actually designed so it should always be turned on. But like anything running 24-7, if it has a little error or some sort of mix-up in a command, it kind of gets all jumbled up and it just plops out. Rebooting it restarts all those cycles, restarts all of its programs, and gives it a fresh start. So while it is designed to pretty much run all the time, it can't hurt to give it a break once in a while. It's a little, you know, it's not the same, but if you were running your car all the time, it'd be like that. The other thing we hear people saying is I have 20 computers connected to my internet, and I have a great internet connection. I have your fastest speed, but it still seems so slow. That could very well be the router as well. Certain classes of routers are designed to split up the connection better or worse for many devices or less devices. So make sure your router is meant to support the fastest wireless speeds in your case if you have lots of devices. If you have any more questions about routers, just give us a call or stop into one of our Arvig stores. We have lots of stores available, otherwise you can call us at 888-99-ARVIG or visit arvig.com or our Facebook page, just search for Arvig.